welcome back to my youtube channel today we are going to start seventh video on the series of azure open ai hands on and in the seventh video we will be seeing how to generate images with dali model so i have opened this link in a new tab here and we'll start the hands on azure open ai service includes an image generation model as well which is named dali you can use this model to submit natural language prompts that describe a desired image and the model will generate an original image based on the description you provide. So basically what you will be doing, you will be providing a description of what kind of image you want in the form of text and DALI model will generate an image based on the description of your text. Now the prerequisite for generating the DALI images or DALI model based images is you have to have a Azure subscription and then you also need to have access to Azure OpenAI service. You can click on the I button to see how I have requested for Azure OpenAI service and you can follow that instruction to request Azure OpenAI service for yourself. Next, moving on, we have to provision an Azure OpenAI resource. You need to have Azure subscription. So that requirement I have already completed as well as for Azure OpenAI services request that also I have completed. And I have also created an Azure OpenAI service with the name OpenAI SVC 23. Now this service is created and will start the next part of the hands-on like exploring image generation in DALI playground. Now if you're not sure or if you have not seen how to provision Azure OpenAI resource, you can click on the I button. You will be presented with the playlist of this hands-on. In one of the videos, I have shown how you can create an Azure OpenAI resource okay, on Azure portal. So follow that one to complete this part. Explore image generation in DALI Playground. So you can use DALI Playground in Azure OpenAI Studio to experiment with image generation. In the Azure portal, on the overview page for your Azure OpenAI resource, Use the explore button to open Azure OpenAI Studio in a new browser. Alternatively, navigate to Azure OpenAI Studio. So what it is saying, if you have already provisioned an Azure OpenAI service, the next step is to go to overview page and click on the explore button and it will present Azure OpenAI Studio page. Now, once you are in the Azure OpenAI Studio page, you can go to this sidebar where you have chat playground for G chat gpt 3.5 models and you have a dali playground to work with the dali model which will generate images based on your text description so let's click on this one and now we are in the dali playground here you can write your text or your prompt or image description and then you click this generate button okay this will highlight once you give your prompt and once you click this generate button it is going to generate images for you based on your textual description so in the prompt box enter a description of an image you would like to generate for example an elephant on a skateboard then select generate and over and view the image that is generated so once you click on this generate button it is going to generate the image so let's do that so now i'm giving a colored pencil art of solar system and here we can see some satisfactory result with solar system here and the rest of the planets painted here. Next, modify the prompt to provide more specific description. For example, an elephant on a skateboard in the style of Picasso. Okay, so this is somewhat a specific prompt. So let's give a specific prompt. Colored pencil art of solar system with all the planets aligned. here we can see the planets are shown as aligned planets okay next we are going to use this dali rest api to generate the images by using azure openai api for dali so what we are going to do we have to prepare the app environment and to prepare the app environment we need to create a storage within Azure portal okay, or within Azure cloud and 
within that storage we are going to host this bash shell or cloud shell okay and once the cloud shell is created we have to clone a lab files or the projects which we are going to use as an app which will be utilizing dali image generation so for that i have already created storage or cloud shell storage and within that i have also opened bash cloud shell if you are not aware how you have to do this you can click on the i button and you can see how this storage is created to work with the bash shell so moving on i'll copy this commands one by one okay there is no azure open ai folder on my cloud shell so i'm directly going to clone this repository let me copy this repository url and paste this command so i pasted this command to clone the lab files repository now the project is cloned we can do ls to list the directory and here we can see we need to change the directory to azure open ai then again listing the directory and we have to change directory to lab files then again list the directory and we have to change directory to fifth folder which is image generation and now i am in the image generation i'll again list directory to see we have two folders directories c sharp and python so the application is written in c sharp as well as in python whichever the language you are comfortable with you follow that kind of uh, directory or project so next we have to do is code space dot to open the visual studio code within this cloud shell i'll open python directory we have something called environment folder and then generate image.py which is the code to call the openai dali api service so first let me set the endpoint and the key for the environment that we can do from here you have to go to key and endpoints of the azure openai service i'll copy the key and paste it here and endpoint you will find it here so all these endpoints are same so you can copy any of these and paste it here now you can see the file is not saved and this circle will be shown so you do control s to save it and that will indicate the file is saved now so now our environment file is saved now we have to go to generate image.py let's switch back to hands on so here i have cloned and also moved to this directory where i am working on the python code i also opened visual studio code and i have also set the configuration for environment files like endpoint and the key similarly those who want to work on the c sharp uh, project they can open app settings.json file and configure the endpoint and the key next we have to install this package python.environment package using this pip install python.environment command this will help us to work with the environment file without exposing the key port at key and the endpoint so i'll go here i'll run this i'll paste this command and click enter and this is going to install this package now this package is installed next we can go and view application code so in the dali playground if you click here view code you can see the application code this has endpoint and the key both if you do copy okay it will copy the python code endpoint and the key here you have json based message pattern where your pattern will go here a prompt will go here and then the size of the image that you want will go here okay and based on this prompt and the size it is going to generate an image with this size next review the code that the file contains noting that the following key features the code makes http request to the endpoint for your service including the key for your service in the header and both of these values are obtained from the configuration files so if you go to this visual studio code 
I'll maximize this so that you can see it properly. So other than these packages that we are using, we are also loading the environment file configuration, which is endpoint and the key. Okay, within this main function, and then this is the API version. Okay. Next, we are clearing any prompt or message that we have, and then writing a fresh prompt. So this is taking an input, okay, from us, like the prompt input, and then based on the prompt, it is going to make a call to this URL with this header and this body. So this is a HTTP based call, okay. Here, the request is getting submitted, the sub post call, with the URL and the headers and the JSON body that we saw here in the Dali playground, right? So the body will look like this. Once the request is submitted, we'll receive a response. The submission header will be like operation location. Okay. So this is a callback URL. And once we get the status succeeded, okay, we'll extract the response and from the response, we'll extract the status, and from the status a response, we are extracting the image URL and displaying the image URL okay, for the generated image. And once the URL is available to us in the console, we can click on the URL to open the image to see what image was generated based on our prompt. Okay. So now here you can see in the prompt the size is currently set 512 pixel to 512 pixel height and width right now we need to run the application to generate the image so so for running it in python we need to run this command and if we want to run it in c sharp we need to run this command so let me run the code in python so I'll change directory to Python first and then I'll write Python command and then file name. I'll click enter to execute the program and here you can see I'm getting a prompt input so I need to give a prompt. So I'm giving a prompt like generate image of a sunflower with a B on it. I'll click enter. This request will go using the API endpoint and key. And it will make an HTTP call and based on the response once it succeeds we'll extract the image URL from that response and we can see this is the URL if we click on this this will open an image that is generated and here you can see a sunflower with the B on it right so that's how DALI image model is able to generate the image based on the text input that we are giving or text prompt that we are giving okay let me close this image. I'll execute this program again. This time I'll give a different prompt. So generate an image of a man standing on taxi. Let me click this image to see. So this is somewhat generated a taxi and a man is standing beside it but not on the taxi. But that's fine for now. So this is how it's able to generate the images based on the description or prompt that we are giving. So that's all for now in this session. If you like my video, please share and subscribe and also comment and give your feedback if you also do not like put your comments so that i can improve it thank you bye bye